Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sharon, of Creative Glam. Today is part one of a two-part series. Today we're going to do a floral arrangement for my spring tablescape. The completed tablescape will be part two of this two-part series. Here's a list of the things you'll need to complete the floral arrangement. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is this is the actual vase that I'm going to use to make my floral arrangement for the centerpiece for my spring tablescape. I'm actually going to use a jar within a jar because the outside, I'm going to place this jar with the floral foam inside this jar. And I'm going to attempt to fill this with Skittles <laughs> around the side. So let's get started. I think I'm going to funnel these Skittles in into the vase, the larger vase. I just made a funnel out of a piece of paper. placed the inner jar inside the outer jar and I funneled two bags of Skittles around the circumference. Um, and I think already uh, that's beautiful. And I have a floral foam here that I'm going to put into the smaller jar uh, vase and I'm going to start to add my flowers. You pick the color scheme that best suits what it is you're doing. I thought about the floral placemats that I got from the Dollar Tree. These florals I got from the Dollar Tree. Of course, you all know that if you go to the Dollar Tree on a regular basis, you've seen these flowers. So I'm just gonna break them out into colors. And I'll be honest with you, I don't necessarily know what type of flowers these are. I just picked them by what I thought was pretty. And I got some onion grass. Now I'm gonna start placing the flowers in. So I take and I measure out how long I'm gonna need my um, my flowers to be. And once I once I measure them out, I then snip them accordingly. So it gives me an idea about how tall I need them to be. So I'm just gonna go through and cut all of these stems, and I will be right back. Now I'm going to start placing the flowers. I cut all I cut all the flowers, and and I put them in piles by color. I'm going to start with my yellow. I believe I want a yellow in the center, and that's kind of how I'm going to start this out here. It's a little longer than I want it to be though. And I'm going to place it in the center. There's many ways to do a floral arrangement, and I probably have done quite a few of them myself. I always try to do a method where no matter how I, I arrange my colors, I always try and do one in the center, you know, like clockwise, nor or, or even directional, where I put one in the center, then I'll do uh, north, south, east, and west. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. My flowers got smashed a little bit because I had them for a while. I got these florals um, a few weeks ago. And um, they were laying in the bag and they got a little smushed, unfortunately. So I've got yellow going north, 
south, east, west, or noon, three, six, nine, and then one straight in the center. Then next, I think I will move on to my orange. And I will do the same thing. Yeah, I think I cut my florals a little too long, so I'm having to trim them yet again um, as I put them in here. You can cut yours a little shorter. Of course, you're going to need to cut them according to however, whatever the depth of your vase is. That one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I just stagger them. I just stagger them in here, and then I'll go with my green. I'll do the same thing here. I enjoy making floral arrangements. They're kind of, um, it always feels a little therapeutic to me. You know, it's kind of like, to me, make it, making jewelry. I like, I enjoy making jewelry as well. Pinks go in next to the orange. Again, my flowers. When I was picking my flowers, I was thinking Skittles. I knew I was gonna use Skittles in my, <laughs> It, it, in the, the sides of my jar. Well, now I'm just spot filling. I'm just going through and I'm looking at any given section and I'm putting it, um, I'm seeing what color I would want in that particular area. I tell you, that is gorgeous. I think that is so pretty. So I don't think I'm going to add the sycamore branches. I don't think I like them. I was going to glue the butterflies to the sycamore branches, but I think I'm just going to glue it to the onion grass. Okay guys, we're all done. This is my part one of a two part series, my floral centerpiece. I took a flower vase, I put another vase inside, I filled in between those two vases with a Skittles to create the outside of what you see at the bottom. I put floral foam in the smaller vase and I filled it with the flowers of my choice. Keep it in mind, the colors of Skittle and the colors of spring. That's how I chose my flowers. And then I added my butterflies. And I think it's super cute. I want to thank love you it. all so very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it came out super cute and I had a great time making it. I hope you try it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. And don't forget to comment. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Stay tuned for part two.